There's an alligator. If you want something a lot quieter and your children can't cope with crowds, this would be a really good option. Hi, I'm Ree. Welcome back to my channel, Mummy of Four Does Disney. We're here in the Magic Kingdom in Walt Disney World for the next episode in our Walt Disney World Florida vlog series. We are about to head off to fly on some magic carpets with Aladdin. We thought we'd take you guys with us. Come on, shall we? Shall we? There's an alligator. And a well, I saw the squirrel. I saw the duck. Where's the alligator? <laughs> alligator is in it the says ocean. alligators and snakes. Oh, there is a sign. There is not. We did not see an alligator. Just for the record, before anyone is gone. In the middle of Walt Disney World. Right, guys. Let's go and get on the magic carpets away from the apparent alligator. It's kind of sad we're going to miss out on Splash Mountain. So that's one of the three mountains we cannot do because it's currently closed for refurbishment. But never mind, I guess it just means we'll have to come back. I mean, it's taken us such a long time to get here. I wanted to bring my children to Walt Disney World since I became a mum, which is nearly 18 years ago. And it's taken me this long. 17 and a half years. However, this place is so magical, I cannot possibly leave it that long again. reservation with Aladdin's magic carpets yet we go check out the enchanted tiki room can you smell that guys what's it smell like yeah. smells like fruit. Yeah. kind of like exotic fruit really yummy smell Enchanted Tiki Room to see what it's all about. It was one of Walt Disney's original concepts apparently, meaning for its time that's quite impressive. Anyway, we are now going to fly on the magic carpet with Aladdin, as we planned to do earlier, um, and then book our next ride. The Magic Kingdom feels really busy today compared to how it was um, at the end of last week when we came and for the first day of our trip when we came. I don't know why, because today is a Monday. So I don't know if it, whether it's some sort of American bank holiday type something. It's much, much busier than when we were last year. Even than when we were last year, it was also a weekend. We're going to go stay down here, then when that is going to spit, then we like... The camel's going to around... spit at us? Yeah. That's a bit me. It's spit. That's naughty. massive selections of pins in here so if you're looking for pins you can't find the rest of the park this place in Frontierland might be worth trying there are lots and lots of magic bands in here too it's worth mentioning and we didn't realize this until the Hollywood Studios day that you can actually take off boring daddy force here this gray bit so can you see you can peel off all of this grey bit down the bottom and just be left with the smaller middle bit of the magic band for people with smaller wrists which I did for mine and the children's when a cast member very kindly helped us in Hollywood Studios until then we were just wrapping them round and round our wrist, wrists and it's a real pain but I've heard a few okay. people in the parks only just realising yeah well that's the other thing if they're wrapped round and round your wrist you don't take the grey bit off and you need to they kind of ping off a little bit so it's worth mentioning if you've got magic bands to take off the grey bit if it's necessary. Um, the magic bands don't come 
as a complimentary addition when you're a resort guest anymore you do have to pay for them but if you're using DAS or Lightning Lane they are so worthwhile because you just end up paying 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 them all the time you can also choose to you can choose to not um, set this up as well but you can pay for things with your magic band by attaching a credit card to it. it just makes it so much easier when you're in the parks That's what happens 17 million times a day when you have small children. And Zara also wants to go to Rapunzel's toilet to take a photo of your Rapunzel and the Wemo, don't you? Because sadly, poor Rapunzel doesn't get an attraction of her own, but she does get some rather pretty toilets. toilets. So we're going to go to the Rapunzel toilet, which is sort of on the edge of Fantasyland anyway, um, and which is where we're heading next to do toilets and um, Nuimo pictures. If you are not familiar with Nuimos, the children are kind of obsessed with them. They're like little plush, cuddly toy things, um, and then you can buy different clothes for them. And they wanted to have photos of their Nuimos in the parks. Bella took a lovely photo earlier today with of Ariel. Ariel, near the Ariel ride. Yeah. That was in the last episode. If you haven't caught that, make sure you catch up on that one after you've seen this. spirit jerseys I bought a big spirit jersey well a big ish for me so I bought a medium whereas I'd normally buy a small to go over things so I literally have got it over my denim jacket I look kind of puffy but I'm warm girls you're looking very iridescent have a good little twirl belt they are I wasn't sure about these spirit jerseys but they're very effective in the parks in the dark because they're really sparkly Thank you. 
is now. So I have to wait until he gets his bank and energy back. I normally do a little announcement. Oh, there we go. And we're back up and running again. <laughs> Cousin was not only gifted on the Glockenspiel, but being a signature. With you in a minute, Bridget. Everyone gathered together to say, Closes, the sound goes off, but all the little dolls on It's a Small World and all the animatronics on Jungle Cruise keep going all night. So I don't know why that would be. It doesn't make sense out just you eyes or wear and tear wise, and it's kind of crazy. Back in the Starlight Cafe for something to eat, and we've managed to find a table with a view of the castle, so we can have something to eat and watch the fireworks without the crowds. Yeah. 
you like it? Try it. Like. No. Probably like that. We're just getting bows? I, I like them. Mm. So we've got some food just to fill us up. View, nice view of the castle and this nice strawberry lemonade slushy. Really tasty. Ooh, I think the fireworks are starting. Well, it's not perfect because Obviously, it's a reflection on the window, and we haven't got the audio's not quite right, but it's so much quieter. Look how quiet it is in here. And outside will be really, really, really crowded. So it's not ideal, but if you want a lot quieter and your children can't go to the crowds, this would be a really good option. gonna head to mine train for one <laughs> last ride before we leave the park but daddy four is just gonna stay here she's not fast on roller coasters you do no. and then we'll come and pick him up train. and get the bus back. Mine train? uh yes okay. because there's an indoor bit but you don't have to wear them you have to wear them to leave the restaurant then you can take them off and you have to put them back on again okay no i might keep it on you can keep it on if it's cold just to keep your face warm. no i normally keep it on when we go on indoor stuff I normally keep it well, off. that's because it's the rules. No, I mean keep it off. If you're um, heading to when stuff. we go, when we go like outside, oh, okay. an indoor place, I don't pull my mouth down or take it off my face. I see. I just keep it like that. Shall we go now? And then yeah, okay. yeah. Of fun, loads and loads of fun. Now we're gonna go and find daddy and the toilet again for a change. And then I think we're gonna have to start thinking about making our way out of the Magic Kingdom. Aww. It does close at 10, but I think we stay here till 10. Everyone's gonna totally lose the plot. What do you think? Yeah. yeah? Animation. Tomorrow we are planning to 
we've started in Epcot and Park Hop, which we haven't even bothered doing yet. I found it kind of more efficient just to be in one park rather than spend time traveling with lots of children. But tomorrow, we are planning to Park Hop just to squeeze a little bit more in. So we're gonna start in Epcot, Park Hop. The plan is over to Hollywood Studios. And the day after that will be our very last day in Walt Disney World, uh, parks anyway, and that will be back here in the Magic Kingdom. So tomorrow morning, we're gonna have a bit of a a family planning meeting. Pick top rides that we all want to do. Um, if everyone picks one ride in each park, we'll try our very best to get around those rides as our kind of last hurrah, which rides we love so much we want to repeat before we go home. That last day is going to be a bit of an emotional vlog. I'm probably going to cry. Let's say that I cried in lots of the videos so far. So when we actually go home, and I'm sad as opposed to just happy, there'll probably be more tears. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Next episode is on the screen right now since it's live. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on the bell, all those type of things. I'll see you guys soon. Say bye bye, Zaza!